It's been a huge night for everything everywhere all at once at this year's Oscars. The film's taken out seven gongs, including Best Picture, Director, Best Supporting Actor and Best Supporting Actress. While Best Actress went to Michelle Yeoh for her role in the flick, here's a bit of her acceptance speech on Seven. For all the little boys and girls who look like me watching tonight, <laughs> this is a beacon of hope and possibilities. That AUKUS nuclear submarine deal is expected to cost $200 billion over the next three decades. On the flip side, it'll create 20,000 jobs, including engineering, welding and sparky positions. That's the reports ahead of the PM's meeting with his US and UK counterparts in San Diego, with an official announcement expected tomorrow. There's been a sad end to a siege in North Queensland. The body of a man in his 50s has been found inside of a home in Townsville following a standoff lasting throughout the night. An exclusion zone had to be put in place after several shots were reportedly fired at homes, a car and responding police vehicles. The number for lifelines 13 11 14. The Nationals are the latest to call for a crackdown on vaping. Leader David Littleproud's reportedly planning to sound out the party room to see whether they'd back new legislation. The Queensland government's also launched an inquiry to investigate what's in vapes and they've announced anti-tobacco legislation, which would make it harder to buy smokes in pubs and limit places to light up. And Fighter claims the average Aussie spent $185 a week on groceries in February. That's a rise of close to 40 bucks over 12 months. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. <laughs> Take the Pepsi Max Taste Challenge. Carlton defender Lewis Young's penned a three-year extension, still on footy, and Essendon forward Jake Stringer will miss his signs opener against Hawthorne with a hamstring strain, while the Saints will be without Tim Mambry, Seb Bross and Nick Coffield against Frio Sunday. Adding cricket, plays resumed on day five of the final test between Australia and India. The night watchman Matt Kuhneman gone for six. Oh, <laughs> on Fox cricket there, it was one for 20 at last check. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. The rest of Monday for the Limestone Coast, partly cloudy conditions with a top of 22. On Tuesday, mostly sunny and 25. And want more local news? Get free breaking news about our community. Download the listener app, search for the Limestone Coast and add to your favourites now. <laughs> 